Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to play with mutant creatures without mods. Firstly, to summon a mutant, you'll need to make a potion called Chemical X. You can do that by following this recipe. After, you just need to throw this potion at a zombie, creeper, enderman, skeleton or a snow golem for them to transform. The chance that the mobs will turn into a mutant isn't 100% guaranteed, sometimes they may just die. If you throw the chemical at another player or a mob that is incompatible with being a mutant, they'll also die. As you can see, whenever a mob has successfully turned into a mutant, they'll have a visible health bar above them. Trust me, you'll need to pay attention to that because these mobs are not to be messed with. The mutant zombie sometimes uses his fist to slam down on the ground, killing you instantly. The mutant skeleton jumps super high to avoid your strikes. The creeper blows up everything around you, causing your surroundings to set aflame. The enderman can run super fast and teleport away at any given moment. But look on the bright side, mutant snow golems aren't hostile so you can just hide behind them if any of these mobs come chasing after you. There is a reward if you do end up defeating them though. The zombie drops a hammer that lets you emit the same shockwaves. The skeleton drops the bow he's holding. The creeper drops a bomb the same strength as its own explosions. And the enderman drops a crystal that can be used to teleport enemies within a radius of 7 blocks to a random place. Lastly, this data pack also lets you craft a vaccine potion. If you throw this potion at a mob, it will never turn into a mutant. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. Scroll down to where it says Dropbox and click it, then press continue to be redirected to this page. When you get there, click on the data pack folder, on the version 3.0 folder and then on the mutant creatures file. Click download at the top and the data pack file should instantly download. Now go back and do the same for the resource pack. Click on the resource pack folder, the version 3.0 folder and then the mutant creatures file again. When that's done, press the download button for the resource pack to be instantly downloaded too. To make the next step easier, we recommend you move both zips to a place where you can easily access, for example your desktop. For this step you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the data pack version to ensure no complications. As of now, the website states it's for 1.17 to 1.18 but this may change in the future so please check before continuing. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Firstly, I'll be showing you how to upload the data pack onto a world you've already created. This data pack doesn't require you to make a new world but if you're also interested in seeing that I'll be showing you how to create a brand new world with the data pack enabled after. Firstly what you're gonna do is head to the files tab. Click on the world folder and then the data packs folder. Here's where you're going to drag the mutant creatures data pack zip you downloaded at the beginning of the video. And that's it, the data pack is uploaded onto your world. However if you're interested in creating a brand new world with the data pack enabled you're gonna want to head to the worlds tab. Here's where you're going to create a brand new world. World. You can set your world name and adjust world settings as usual. Just make sure the world name doesn't have any spaces or special characters. However, below you'll see a button labeled Upload Data Packs. Simply click the Select Files button and then navigate to the area where you saved the Mutant Creatures Data Pack zip to. Once you've found it, press Open and then Create World. It'll take a second for the files to upload, but when that's done, you should go into the Files tab. Double click on your world folder and then go into the data packs folder. If you see the mutant creatures data pack zip inside, it means you have followed these steps correctly. Now that the data pack is uploaded onto the server, you'll have to make sure the required resource pack is also installed. To do that, you'll want to head back to the files tab. Then open up the server.properties file and look for the line saying resource pack. After the equals, you want to right click and paste the link to the required resource pack. We ourselves have uploaded that file to our Dropbox, so if you'd like, you can use our link. It'll be in the description. Alternatively though, you can upload the resource pack to any website that supports creations of hot links and put your own link into the server.properties file. Before continuing, make sure to press save file to confirm the changes and then all you have to do is log into your server to experience the new additions. You can do this by heading to the dashboard and copying the host name. Afterwards, quickly launch your Minecraft application and when it's open, head to the multiplayer section. Click add server and in the server address section, paste the host name. Now when you join the server, you'll be able to check out the mutant creatures for yourself. 
Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from my channel. Thank you for watching.